Welcome back, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button below. Today we're going back out with Arjun. We have the top off of the 560 SL is 89, and we're gonna go bring the M5 back to life. So the M5 needs some maintenance. I've gotta do valve cover gaskets because I'm leaking oil, and a couple other little things. Um, so I've ordered a bunch of parts from FCP Euro. Let's go resurrect the car from the barn and see if she runs. So the Triumph actually has been in the house for a long time. I'm actually really surprised it's now been relegated to the garage. I'm pretty convinced the chickens actually are like eating the mice. So those are like, instead of having a cat, we've got chickens. <laughs> They're doing the trick. It's like the weird thing about this car. I can leave it for like months on end. And it'll just start right up. Problems. I'm gonna be super careful moving a motorcycle. I'm not a motorcycle guy. And that's as much as you'll ever see me ride a motorcycle on this channel. <laughs> The goal of this mission is just to get the car back in a location that I can actually retrieve it from because I'm gonna be doing some work, or I'm not. While Motorsport is gonna be doing work on the car, we're gonna go film it, uh, but really, um, I, I just, I'm working in this, all the cars are in weird are locations. Drive safely. Thanks, Waze. So, basically, I just need the car in, in a place a that- Turn right on state route. Hopefully, I don't get pulled over because my inspection sticker is a really, really out of date. It's a second gear roll on. Not bad. This car has lots of torque. The other part of that is the car's just been in storage for a long time. I didn't know if I was even going to be selling it or driving it or whatever, but you know what? I think I'm keeping this car. I really like this car. I can see myself regretting it if I end up selling it. So, for now, I don't need to sell it and might as well enjoy it. Back at Ren Scott, and we have a new lift. David got this ridiculous asymmetrical two post, and uh, that's gonna make life a heck of a lot easier. Inside the shop, he's also getting ready to start actually making things. So now he has this killer Haas mini mill. We've got a bunch of collets and tooling, we've got a couple vices, and uh, this place has come together pretty nice. And another update on David's Cayman. Turns out the head gasket was not blown, although it very much looked like it was. It was actually like this oil separator thing and we found a comment on, oh, let's see. Is this gonna go okay? Woo! That's building. Perfect. <laughs> Turns out it was just like this oil separator thing. We found a comment on a forum that described the problem to a T. In fact, this guy was even at the track saying, on throttle out of a corner, he was getting all this white smoke. Then when you'd go uh, pit in for like a rest, go to start it again and get a big old cloud, which is exactly what we saw. So uh, the Cayman is fixed for what, like $150? $75, Cayman's back on the road. So yes, I will be keeping my E39 M5. And in fact, the more I drive it, the more I want to keep it. It is the most supple, torquey, juicy, just, comfortable car to drive every single day. I find myself driving it like an old lady would drive a Grand Marquis. I don't find myself speeding that much in it. It's just enjoyable and I'm relaxed in it. So the solution to my daily driver conundrum might just be putting 100,000 miles on my E39 M5. What do you guys think? Should it be sold at a premium with 75,000 miles or should I just keep it and maintain it forever? Thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive. And for those of you who think my M3 is too quiet, I've got something coming out for you, so stay tuned.